Hello, Clarice. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I missed you guys. It's been requested that we share Peter's sauce recipe. Some people call it gravy. Some people call it sauce, like we do. Um, you know, it's pasta sauce. Peter uh, did film himself making his famous sauce, so I am going to insert that footage here today. And it's fantastic. He made it himself for his birthday. He knows we love it and um, he loves it himself. So I offered to cook something else, but he was like, I want my sauce. So I said, all right, go ahead, knock yourself out. Because he was off and I was actually working that day. I have a ton of updates. I don't want to make this too boring. You know what I mean? But um, at my age, <laughs> I've got a lot of medical stuff to talk about. That's just the way it is. Fun times and ailments. <laughs> It's a mixture of both. Where do I begin to tell the story of my... First things first, I went to the cardiologist last week and left there super depressed. I think that's part of the reason why I probably did not um, film. What's up with my phone? You guys can see me only from here up. I, you don't want to see what's going on down here. Since my mom passed away from an aortic dissection, my medical doctor thought it would be a good idea to see a cardiologist and have a workup done. My whole family should. You can have a genetic predisposition for this or something like that. So he gave me a very, very long list of things that I need to do now. I am overweight. According to him, I am obese. I don't like him and I'm never going back to him. He wants me to go see a nutritionist. He wanted me to have an echocardiogram, which I am going for today. I also have to go to have some genetic testing done. It was a lot for me to process. I know that certain things have to change. I, I stopped smoking and that was a big deal. So I gained all this weight and I have to buckle down and get serious about it. You know, I'm a little sad because, you know, I love food. It doesn't mean that I can't eat anymore. It just means that I can't have, you know, like <laughs> ice cream in the middle of the night. So that was tough in itself. And then I think I told you guys that I had my EMG done and I went to the hand surgeon for the results. And um, basically shots are not gonna do anything for me. This has been going on since 2014. I've had carpal tunnel for years. It's just gotten worse. So I'm having surgery on April 4th on my left hand, which is the worst. I'm right-handed, so I don't know how that works. So all these things just got me a little depressed, you know? It happens. It happens. We get depressed and we don't want to do anything. We all have things going on in our lives, things that could make us feel like, ugh, why even try? You know, and I go through my moments where I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do anything. I'm licking my wounds. That was gross. But I get up. I get up again and I, and I come back fighting. It's going to sound cliche, you know, it doesn't matter how many times you fall. What matters is how many times you get up. It's so true. You just have to keep trying. I'm like, another surgery I just had cervical spine surgery like i'm gonna have another surgery at the end of the day what i want is to feel good i want to be able to live my life without pain i'm not gonna sit down and say all right i give up that's it no i'm gonna go get ready to go have this echocardiogram done and we'll catch up later what does it feel like to be 14 years old I wish I could tell you, it just it feels the same. It's, nothing really changed. The fact that I'm 14, I mean, <laughs> when you're closer to college, I guess. I'm probably going to start to feel the changes probably soon. <laughs> the what? I'm sorry, I'm going to probably f start to feel like the changes of age maybe soon. <laughs> I, love you. Mm, I love you more. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me make sure I'm Do you have your oh. gift in there? You sure? Yep. Love you. Love you more. Go ahead with the vlog. All right, thank you. Bye. Okay. I do not know what I'm doing, but I did tell my wife 
that I would record. Oh, here it goes. I went food shopping. It's Friday morning. I'm going to the park. I'm off today because this weekend is my birthday. So I took Friday and Monday off. And I picked up some stuff because we are going to be making my sauce. I piled all the groceries over here because Marta doesn't like it when I walk in and out of the house with my sneakers on. So I took them off. A happy wife, a happy life. Okay, I put everything away. I'm having some lunch, cleaned everything. So now it's time to cut. I use green, red, garlic, onions. Once I finish cutting all this, I will fry the sausages, slice them, and that goes into the sauce also. I tend to try not to cut this stuff too big. Um, I put it all in a bowl. It's not difficult. It's very easy to make. When I make my sauce, I don't measure anything. I just throw everything in the pot and let it go. Or like Marta says, let it rock. The first time I made it was too watery. A friend of mine, Charlie, told me, well, you know, let me see what you put in there. And I showed him what I put in and he was like, ah, you know, you you might want to put some uh, tomato paste. That'll make it a little thicker or I, I don't know. I just let it cook for six hours. I put the tomato paste in anyway. I always put a can of tomato paste in. And I found that the longer it cooks, the thicker it gets. This is how we do. This is what I do. I'm not a professional. This is how we like it. these sausages. These are two hot sausages and the rest of these are four sweet. So that's gonna go there. I'm probably gonna be making one and a half of this for meatballs. So I'm gonna need to save These four, maybe I'll just make one, and then I get the meat out of the skin of these sausages, and I mix it in with this half here. Well, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this simmer over the stove, let it cool down, and then I slice them up, and I put them in with, just, you know, into the big saucepan that we have here. I let this cook a little bit with the veg with, with the green peppers, the red peppers, and the onions, and the garlic. I have to cut some garlic, and then I add in these cans of peeled plum tomatoes. Um, no salt added, so I'll put a little bit of salt in. I'm not a real fan of salt, I have high blood pressure and all. Once that gets going, it's popping. Let it all rock. Oh, this goes on a medium fire. Put my garlic out. Start cutting the garlic. I usually use the machine for this, but less stuff I have to clean. Now, 
I might. Hmm. I might use this new tool that Marta bought. Just squish them, squish them, and then I could just chop them up. Sausages are done frying. So I'm just gonna take them out and let them cool down in here so I can slice them. I'll put this back. I'm not a camera guy, I'm not a video making person, so bear with me. Um doing the best I can with what I know. These things will be cooking for six hours, so all cut up, everything is in here. Let me just dump it. All in there. Done. Put the fire on. Let that saute, whatever, simmer, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to get the cans ready here. Then we'll pour all this stuff in. Drop it in there. Now, I was always told one can of tomato, one can of water. We put this bad boy on high. So it's 12.43 at 1.43. Bring it down to low, and for five hours, it stays on low, and every half hour, I mix it. So, that's done. One, One hour, hour later. later. So, now what I do is the tomatoes that have risen, I will cut in half with the spoon as I stir it. Boom, cut it in half. You get the idea. Now we're going to work on the meatballs. I bake my meatballs. Um, my mother, when I was a kid, used to fry them, but every time I try to fry them, they burn. So I just bake them. And what I do is uh, a half an hour, 20 minutes, half hour, and then I pull it out, flip them over, and do it again. And I don't make big meatballs, I make small ones. The meatballs are done, 26 meatballs. Put those bad boys in the oven and let it rock. When Marta comes home, we're all going to love dinner tonight. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? Oh, too old. <laughs>
right there that is timothy hutton's farm house i didn't want to seem like a real uh stalker but i just found out that that is timothy hutton's house and um it's very close to mine it's not that far i hear that he's not um a very nice person so yeah anyway i just went to dollar tree because i had to pick up a couple of things for Pete's little mini party. It's actually a, a week after his daughter's birthday, so we're gonna we're gonna try and combine both. Am I going the right way? Oh God! And it's also his daughter's boyfriend's birthday tomorrow, so I just wanted to pick up a couple of things just to um, have a little party. <laughs> okay, I've got to go. It's snowing really bad. And um, I'm not sure uh, where I'm going. <laughs> How was your birthday, honey? Good, honey. Thank you. I appreciate everything you did. And I'm gonna go over to Dutton Ranch. <laughs> the Dutton Ranch. Yeah. Do what? Uh, probably kill some people. <laughs> That's all they do. They, they don't do nothing with old cows, and they just kill people. This is Caitlin. Caitlin is Peter's daughter, Sometimes biological daughter. Look how I'm gorgeous. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can I wear my mask? Can I wear my mask? No. <laughs> no, no. Face, no case. <laughs> and Vincent. Vincent is uh, going to be a new member of this family mm -hmm. soon. <laughs> He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> that is Caitlin's boyfriend, fiance. Fiance. I love that word. <laughs> Fiance. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Papa Lou. Papa Lou. Oh, Jose Kevich. Senorita. 